Hey, Slightly Unblended. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today, I wanted to be extra. So, I used the Blends Palette and the Kama Cosmetics Hollow Blue Flakes to create this look. So, if you'd like to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. taking my Blend Bunny Blends Palette, my very well loved, all of the words are coming off here, and guess what, I've got a double pan that's turned into one big pan in Spellbound as of like yesterday, so pretty much for this look, I'm just going to take Spellbound, 32, and Bubble Bath. Let's jump into it. My lid's already primed with the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas in Fair, so I'm going to go ahead and take the brushes from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. I have the set they're very amazing i love them so much to start out i'm going to take the b2 brush because i wanted something short and pretty dense so this one is perfect i'm going to take the b2 brush in the shade 32 and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and start to pack that deepest darkest blue shade on the outer corner of my eye and i'm going to kind of wing it upwards if it's kind of messy it's okay because we're going to go and do a little cleanup after everything's blended so I'm just going to go ahead and start to build the shape. I'm going to take it into the outer V of my eye and start to pack this blue down. A little pat 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 a -roos. Get a little chick 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 And focus on the shape just a little bit. I'm trying to make sure that I have one even because on this eye I struggle with making sure that they're going in the same direction. <laughs> and I'm going to take it to about almost halfway over and just continue to just pat that shade down. I'm cleaning this brush off and I'm going to take the shade 32 and I'm just going to pat pat it on and then I'm just gonna do little baby windshield wiper motions to try to get these nice and blended real quick do little pats and then I'm gonna add a little bit more of spellbound And then a little bit more of 32 to blend them together. I'm going to take 32 to about right here, leaving a third of my lid empty, clean, and ready for more blue. Now I'm going to take Bubble Bath. I've cleaned that brush off and I'm going to go ahead and start to apply it on that inner bit of my lid. And I'm going to pat this with 32. Do little pats to blend them together. With the B3 brush, I'm going to take some more of 32 and just pat that down with bubble bath to blend them. And I'm going to do a little back and forth windshield wiper motions to make sure they are nice and gradient. With the B2 brush, I'm going to take more of Spellbound and really kind of get that shape. I'm going to take the B1 brush and start from the inner corner of my eye and start to blend out Bubble Bath. And then I'm going to blend out 32 back and forth windshield wiper motions with the lightest amount of pressure. And then work my way over 
to Spellbound. And more back and forth windshield wipe and motions with very, very light pressure. With the B2 brush, I'm gonna go back in and just kind of pat a little bit more Spellbound down to make sure it is a nice and dark, dark blue wing on that outer corner of my eye. Just want a nice and intense blue moment because, ah, I love it. Now, with my B4 brush, I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and cleaned off and take a little bit more bubble bath. And I'm just gonna start to lightly blend bubble bath with itself. And then bring it over to blend out 32. And then bring it over to blend out Spellbound. Now right where that blending leaves off, the dark blue starts to become lighter from the blending. That's where we want to focus this bubble bath shade. Now I'm going to take the B5 brush in the shade Cream and Sugar. I'm just going to diffuse the shades with this. Once that's nice and blended, I'm just gonna take the B1 brush and some more Spellbound and just blend it upwards to make sure it's nice and dramatic. And I'm gonna blend out Bubble Bath a bit more with Cream and Sugar. Clockwise and counterclockwise circles for a more even blend. Now I'm going to do just a tiny little bit of a cleanup with some micellar water on a Q-tip. What I'm going to do is just sharpen this wing. Now I'm going to take some of the Kama Cosmetics, some of the Kama Cosmetics glue. It is clear and it's like a gel. So I'm gonna take a little bit of it and put it on the back of my hand. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my, my finger and apply this with my finger. So I'm just sticking my finger in it, this there. And I'm just going to start to pat it on top of my lid. Kind of like how if you're gonna cut your crease with your fingers and as you can, can do it by itself without having to use a brush or micellar water on a Q-tip or a base. Now we wait 30 seconds to let it dry down a little bit and then I'm gonna add some of the hollow blue chameleon flakes from Kama Cosmetics. All right, so now I'm just gonna carefully lift the lid and set the lid down and then I'm just gonna take my finger and very carefully just touch the flakes. This can be messy, so careful, careful. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pat those on and oh, hello holographic. Yes, yes, and absolutely freaking yes. Okay, I got excited. I'm just taking it and I'm patting it on and getting it stuck down to that adhesive. Now that it looks like we have a disco ball on our eye, I'm gonna go ahead and clean my hands off real quick and do a gem wing. Gotta be a little extra. So to do the gem wing is gonna be hard because I suck at getting them even with the rhinestones like I don't know why but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this tool it's from BH Cosmetics it was from the Get Stone collection and I'm gonna take some eyelash glue like this and I'm just gonna put that metal bit that looks like a pin I'm gonna get it and I am gonna add four dots here on the bottom I'm gonna start right here 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 and here. And that's where we're gonna place the first four. But what I'm gonna do now 
is I'm going to dot a little more glue to kind of get the shape that I want. That way, to me, it seems like it's a little bit easier to try to get them to be more even. So, I'm going to do one here, one here, here, and here for now. And then I'm going to do one right there for like that part so I'm gonna take these gems I'm not gonna do the iridescent ones I don't know why I didn't do that I'm just gonna do the more silvery ones oh I know why I didn't because I'm almost out of the shapes that I like that are iridescent and I need to order more so I was like you know what these ones will work so I'm just gonna take the waxy bit of this tool and start to add some gems got that one I am not exactly sure when this is going to go up. It might be the week after the in a, uh, the Fade into Hue palette tutorial. If so, I feel like I'm going to explain in that video. I don't have it edited yet. Um, but I had some issues going on. My cat... My... my my poor kitty just wasn't feeling good and I it, that was a very long week so my energy was definitely off in that video because my pets are like my children and whenever something is off with them I freak out so that was a voiceover in the beginning of a very long week and I'm still trying to get over it and I kind of messed that up for my inner corner highlight I'm taking the makeup or murder poison highlight in the shade straighten up and I love makeup or murder so much my friend Slay with Desiree definitely sold me on these. So I just take the cork and I touch my brush to it and get it everywhere. And I'm just gonna pop that onto that inner corner area right there like that. And yes, it is so sparkly. I need to do a video with a lot of their things to show you how I use them because I use them a lot. <laughs> their products are amazing. All right, I'm gonna go do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. So this is the finished look. What do you think? I am obsessed. I did take a little bit of the Kyma Cosmetics Pressed Foil Pigment in Tootie Twist. And I added a tiny bit of it like to the inner corner of my eye. And I also topped it onto my highlighter. But isn't it just the dreamiest? It is so pretty. I would love to have all of these. Uh, my friend Slay with Desiree has a pink one or a purple one. I can't remember which one, but I remember it was pretty. And now I'm like, I need, I need all of the things that Kyma creates because Kyma Cosmetics is awesome. Also, these blues from the Blends palette. Can we just talk about how beautifully they blend? Like the light to the like medium blue to the dark blue and like I don't know I was just feeling a blue look and I love the way the lower lash line blended out the blends palette is always gonna be like my favorite and I definitely kind of want to order another one because I have hit pan on a lot of the shades let's look at that because I don't think I've ever properly panned a palette and I'm just kind of like proud of myself <laughs> so inside joke there's pan spellbound submerged 
bewitched, signs, chants, giggle, cream and sugar. Um, I dug my nail into intuition by accident and I could have cried, but you can definitely tell like darker shades and pastel shades are my favorite, but oh, I definitely can see my, myself hitting pan on self-love soon. Like it's getting there. It's getting there. This is such a beautiful palette. I love it so much. I love Born Bunny Cosmetics. Every, I am getting kind of close to Surge hitting pan. I know that on the white shade, I have hit pan on it. White hot, I got a good pan going in that one. But I feel like Beacon will definitely be the first that I hit pan on because I use it as my blush like I use it as blush today uh, I don't know if it's like picking up on the camera so I like to take the M Cosmetics color drop uh, color drops of blush serum in little lilac it's cute and I like to add that and then add beacon for the blush and yeah oh I just I love my blend bunny cosmetics palette so much they're the best all right let me know what you'd like to see next down below and I feel like there's something else. And these lashes, they're from Kiss Cosmetics or Kiss Products. Let me see. This was a double pack that I found at Walmart. They are the Glossy Lash, or the Lash Drip in Glossy. And I did have to trim mine. So the, I save the extras when I do have to trim lashes to like do a little lower lash moment, which I should have done today. I feel like that would have been like a whole vibe. But, I don't know. I feel like I recently did a blue look, but I kind of am on a blue kick. But I do want to know what color combinations you'd like to see next, so let me know down below. And also, just any look in particular that you would like to see next, tell me down below in the comment section. I'm always down for requests. Like, if you have something that you'd like me to do, I always get so excited about it. And, yeah, so I guess that's it for this one. If you'd like to keep up with my awkward face and shenanigans while I'm not here on YouTube, I'll have all my social medias linked in the description box down below. And if you'd like to keep up with me while I am here on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button. It means so much to me. And, like, I can't thank you enough for almost 600 subscribers. I'm so excited. Like, I... I I definitely didn't see myself getting to 600. Like, I don't know. I'm just like... I'm excited so thank you so much thank you always I am always just cannot thank you enough for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos and for just hanging out with me like it really it makes my day like I could cry I'm such a cry baby but it really does mean the world to me but I just had to let you know thank you so much for watching and taking the time out of your day I cannot thank you enough Alright, without being too mushy and without being too weird, I am going to go ahead and go. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that I'll see you in the next one. Bye!